Hi there, my name is Rob Hayes, and this is my research implementation plan for KIN 596 High Performance Sport Inquiry. Today I will be looking at an update on my research question. We'll be getting into a little bit of the data analysis and what that's all going to entail. We're going to look at the ethical issues and a timeline events for the year. So as I'm fine-tuning my research question, I've been looking at the relative age effect in provincial and, and national rugby teams. And then is there, going to, is there a reversal at the senior level? And uh, I've been looking at 15s rugby. So kind of the two hypotheses I have would be, um, do athletes selected to youth teams favor uh, relative age effect? So um, athletes born in different times of the year. And are there a greater proportion of athletes who make the national senior team, are they actually born later in the year? Um, a third thing that I'm going to kind of be looking at, um, as long as I can get the data, is is there a difference between males and females? So I'm doing my best right now to get data for U16, U18, U20, and senior teams in both male and female. I'm trying to get um, the data from the last 10 years, um, but it's at, at the moment it's seeming a little bit difficult, especially from the BCRU, but I might be able to get this from um, the Canadian Rugby Union. So I'm following along a couple different um, research articles that are out of the UK. And, um, you know, this, this chart here just quickly shows you um, that for at the youth age, at U15, you can clearly see that um, athletes born in the first quarter is quite a bit higher than athletes born in the fourth quarter. Um, but you can see that um, at the senior professional level, it's actually pretty close to the national norm. Again, here's uh, some work with the U16, U23 out of, out of England. And you can actually start seeing that in the, in the third and the fourth quarter, it is quite a bit higher um, than in quarter one and quarter two. This is kind of some of the really interesting work. Again, here's a couple more, um, just showing you some of the charts that uh, are available at the moment and, and why doing some of this research uh, with uh, Canadian programs could help uh, me as a high performance coach in, in doing talent identification and uh, player development possibly. So the tests I'll be looking at uh, to deter, basically, we're just trying to determine if there is um, significant association between um, these issues, so between birth month and sport performance. Um, I'll be looking at the chi-squared test for independence, uh, a regression tests, and ANOVA. When looking at the ethics for my research here, I'm still kind of in a bit of a place where I'm trying to get some data from Rugby Canada, and we'll see, but um, a lot of this information is in public domain already, um, so that would uh, open me up to not having to go through the ethics board, um, but uh, there is... But there is some ethical considerations that I do have to make. Um, to, I will be looking at um, young athletes uh, underage, um, 
and just thinking a little bit about the the long term effect and and what this kind of research um, would do and looking at uh, the development of of our young rugby players. I will just be looking at birth dates, so uh, there shouldn't need to be any um, personal information with names. So the privacy and confidentiality should be protected. Now looking at my timeline here, I'm really kind of uh, paused at the moment trying to get some waiting to hear back from both BCRU and Rugby Canada. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at the waiting game to get this data, but I've touched base uh, with both um, the on the, the male and female side at Rugby Canada. Um, they should be getting back to me uh, by next week. And the BCRU, I believe I need to just uh, push a little bit harder. Uh, they've been trying to work on schedules and things like that. So uh, I would like to have my approved research proposal done uh, by October 27th. And then I just need to clean up whether or not I am actually going to need to have um, the ethics board approval. Um, but I'll be doing that in November. Collecting the data and then analyzing it is, is going to definitely take some time for me. It's something that is uh, I'm not... Uh, isn't necessarily a strength of mine. So I know that this is going to be a big portion of what uh, my time is going to be spent on. So as I said, I'm going to do my best to get um, this data from from the Canadian Rugby Union as, as soon as possible. And then um, as, a, as a Dave has mentioned, uh, I will need to um, work on analyzing that data. I think it's going to take me a little bit. Um, with uh, my poster, I'd like to have that uh, the draft of the poster started in early May and presenting in June, uh, hopefully as long as everything goes well. Um, just like everybody else, uh, lots of, of challenges with... Uh, you know, balancing time, etc. cetera. Um, with me being a teacher, I know that every report card time is very stressful and a time-consuming uh, aspect of my job. I'm also going to be taking a U19 boys team to Spain and Portugal uh, in March, so it's going to be pretty difficult to get any work done uh, in those 10 days there. And then uh, high school rugby provincials are at the end of May, uh, first weekend in June. Uh, and my high school team should uh, be in those. So again, that's another kind of full on uh, week or so that, uh, you know, I don't get a ton of um, computer time. So I know that, that that's going to be hitting right during kind of the poster um, draft and presentation time. So uh, that's going to be pretty busy time, but uh, I think it can be can be done. Oh uh, yeah, so just uh, to finish up here, uh, the biggest thing here is is relative age effect prevalent in Canadian rugby, and uh, is there a relative age reversal at the senior level? These are kind of the issue main issues that uh, I'm interested in, and then um, is there a difference between the male and female programs? A um, little frustrated right now and just trying to get that, those next steps going with um, getting the data from, from both um, unions. Um, yeah, it's going to be a busy year, but uh, it's going to be uh, really exciting and looking forward to uh, this poster presentation. Thank you for listening.